All right, guys, welcome back to more Ignorance in Basketball. Now, this shit is kind of getting out of hand. Um, I actually talked to a buddy of mine who's from Portland, big fucking Blazers fan, and I told him, look, our team's about to play in a couple of days, and you're going to get embarrassed. It's just what's going to happen. And he told me, look, I know you guys fucked us up so bad that we look like little boys, and that's why he, it's, it's so sad that he thought this. Um, that the Blazers were 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 gonna be embarrassed and they were gonna come out extra hard and get the win. As we know, that didn't happen. Did I text him? Of course I did, because I'm petty. That is the first thing I did. I wanted him to know that I told you, because I told him as soon as you said that goofy shit, you guys just don't have the skills. Okay? The coaching, it's not there. The offensive flow, it's not there. The defense. It's not there. The late game execution, we're going to talk about that. It's not there. You just don't have any of the qualities to be on the Suns level. It is ring season in Phoenix. It is get knocked out in the first round season in Portland. And I mean that with disrespect because you're the opposition. So it's fuck you All day. I don't have fucking sympathy for other fucking teams. You think I give a shit? No. I'm heartless. I don't care. I love to see people fucking cry. I fucking take their tears and I drink it for strength. I don't give a fuck. But let's talk about this fucking game because I'm going to be honest. I haven't made a fucking post-game interview or interview. (laughs) A post-game video in like, what, a week? So I forgot that the Suns just love to not give a shit against teams that they don't believe in. Now, I don't know if it's just that obvious, the skill gap, or maybe the Suns are watching my videos. That's probably the case. Let's just be honest about it. It is a cult. Um, But they just seemed like they really did not believe in the Trailblazers at all. They're like, oh, we got to play who? Oh, okay, I guess. So I guess we'll just keep it close, let them get whatever rebounds they want. I was like, what the fuck? Why are they getting out-rebounded? Like, what, what, what's happening? Why is Enos Cantor turning to fucking Akeem the Dream? Like, what the fuck? But I forgot. The Suns just don't give a fuck because they're like, we're so much better than you. Disrespect meant that we're not going to try until the fourth quarter. We're going to let you win three fourths of the game because we have that little faith in you (laughs) and that was just their entire energy throughout this whole game and the first three quarters I was like fuck what the hell I know they kept it close like I think the biggest Portland lead was like 13 points or something like that but you can just look at a team's energy and just and just tell who's gonna win you know um, but luckily for us, the Suns turned it on really like late in the third. I think as soon as Booker came in for CP, whatever, I don't know, with like four minutes or like five minutes or whatever left in the third, Booker went on a little bit of a scoring spree. I don't think the defense really kicked it in until the fourth, but he was able to bring that lead from like 10 or so or whatever it was to four going into the fourth. And I was like, finally, something because they were giving me nothing to root for i like the campaign stuff he had a good first quarter bridges was looking good but really that was it (laughs) like that was it and they were still down by like 13 and i was like this is great to see two players playing well but where's everybody else but that that lineup with cp crowder nader sarich and campaign Great fucking defensive lineup. And they just shut the fucking Trailblazers down. I think at one point they had hit like like six of their last eight threes or something. And I was like, this is what I'm talking about. Because I've been saying this shit since before the fucking season started. Late game execution always transfers to the playoffs. If you can fucking execute well, that's always a great sign. And if you can't. Like the Clippers, it's not a great sign. By the way, I actually watched the Nets Celtics game, and I was like, "Fuck the Nets! The Nets look kind of good. I'm not gonna lie, they look pretty good." And they didn't even have KD. But then I thought about it, 
I was like, Jalen Brown was like four for 20 something, which is ass. And the Celtics just, their late game execution is just not fucking good. So really, I kind of feel like that game had a lot to do with the Celtics, not so much the Nets. But either way, the Nets got a solid win, so I guess I can't really hate on them. And they're missing their best player. But it's still fuck you, Nets. I'm not afraid of you guys because you guys need to learn to play some fucking defense. But let's keep talking about this fucking Trailblazers win. And my friend still hasn't responded to my text message because he's salty. You know you lost. I'm sorry. Don't fucking try to compare your team to mine. It's not ring season there. I'm sorry. I don't give a shit about Portland. Never been. Heard heard good things, I guess. But fuck off, okay? Just focus on, I don't know, getting a new coach. They probably should, but whatever. Um, I thought it was really funny <clears throat> that for the first, like, fucking seven minutes of the, fir- of the fourth quarter, they just kept going to Sarge every single play. <laughs> like, that's what I like about this team, you know? But yeah, that's what I like about this team. The fact that they're able to find the weakness in the other team's defense. I mean, they, they went to their backup center and found a mismatch. Like, what team is doing shit like that? Like, if it's the Nets, you're just going to go to Kyrie, you're going to go to Harden, you're going to go to KD. Great options, <laughs> you know. But it's nice that they found a way to attack something in, and I think, a kind of a creative way. So, shout out to the Suns for that. Like I said, the late the the defense later in the game was just on another fucking level. Some might call it immaculate, and that's a GED word. So <clears throat> I'm really just proud of this team for that. Again, I don't like that they could they think they can take quarters off, and I guess they can. It works a lot of the times, but I think in games like the Nets and um, I think that Charlotte game, you know, if you don't put teams away early, it can come back to bite you in the ass. And really, almost every loss the Suns have had was to a was a loss like that. I don't think they've lost to a better team all season. The closest thing you could say was like that Clippers loss, but they almost won that game, and that was still like earlier in the season when they were really just trying to figure shit out. So that's why I was really excited about that Lakers game. I wanted to see where they stood against you know the team that just won the fucking championship. So. And they beat that ass, but again, no AD, so it's kind of hard to say, but I don't know. Like, that's why I really feel like it is ring season, because there is not a team that I've seen, definitely not a team that the Suns have played against where I was like, oh shit, they are a better team. I don't see any other teams that I think are better. The Nets scare me a little just because they're so fucking stacked, but like we talked about, they don't play defense. The fact that this team is top 10 in both, and I think by the time the playoffs come around, I think they'll be top five in both, is huge. And if they if they have that, they have the star power, and they have the late game execution, it's like, what more do you need? You know, I don't give a shit how many superstars are on your team. If you're not playing well, and your offense isn't flowing, and your defense isn't good, and you can't execute late. Who gives a shit? If James Harden's just going to be fucking dribbling the ball off of his foot like a dumbass and has 12 turnovers a game, does it matter? I'd rather have the team that can execute well under pressure, doesn't really matter who's on the court, than the team with the stars who don't function well. So, But let's go through some fucking stats because this game was kind of ridiculous how efficient the Suns were. So, first off, we got to give some shout-outs. Obviously, we got to give a shout-out to Saric. The late-game execution was great. He played pretty decent defense, too. But he had 11 points, 5 boards, 2 assists, did his thing. Crowder gave you 13 and 7. I'm telling you, this guy always gets rebounds. It's it's weird. He's 6'6". He's like P.J. Tucker, I'm telling you. Chris Paul gave you 19, 7, and 5. Great. Booker had fucking 35. I didn't even notice, but he was hooping today. He had 35 points, 8 assists, 5 boards. Definitely did his thing. Bridges gave you 18 points, 2 assists, 4 boards. And he was really efficient today, too. Now, that's what I'm fucking talking about. Anytime this guy has, like, over 15 points, I feel like it's a definite Suns win. And I feel I think he had a lot of his points early. And he had to guard Damian Lillard today, too. So, we got to give a shout-out to Bridges. Um... Cameron Payne did his thing, 13 points, 6 assists, five bo- or 3 boards in 20 minutes. Like, this is what I'm saying. He's 
he was so much better than he was playing when he was in that little mini slump for like six games or so. And if he can average around like 10 to like 15 points, maybe like five assists in like 20 or so minutes, like that is amazing. I mean, I think he was what, four for five from three or some shit. He's shooting 42%, which is ridiculous. This man was out of the league and he's a point guard who's pretty big, plays good defense and shoots 40% from three. This man gets nowhere near the fucking respect he deserves. But I haven't even talked about the fucking team as a whole. I mean, the sun shot 54% from three. <laughs> if you shoot 54% from the field, you're fucking incredible. But shooting 54% from three in a game is like fucking unheard of. And I'm sorry, I have to fucking pat myself on the back. I called it before the Suns even played a game because just looking at the roster, you have like 10 players who shoot around 40% from three. Like just off the top, it's like, Booker, Chris Paul, Cameron Payne, Cameron Johnson, Bridges, Galloway, Moore, uh, Kaminsky. There's just like eight people off the top that all shoot around 40%. So you can, ha- like, obviously shit like this is going to happen a lot. And it has been. And the fact that they shot, what, six, they made six of their last eight from three is fucking ridiculous so they shot 54 percent from three 60 percent from the field or 59 whatever they only shot they shot 85 or 84 percent from free throw and again that's another thing that's going to help in the playoffs the fact that ayton can actually hit his goddamn free throws is huge having a center that can shoot free throws is big um and they kept portland to 46 percent from the field portland still shot 42 percent from three but i mean compared to 54 you suck and um what did the suns the suns had 13 turnovers that's like it's a little above average for them honestly it's kind of normal and uh 56 point uh points in the paint so this was just a fucking great win now we all know portland is not a goddamn you know defensive juggernaut but Shooting 54% from three is, even in a goddamn open gym, is impressive. So we got to give a shout out to the Suns for that. And it was mostly late because, like I said, they hit six of their last eight. And that was before the fourth quarter was even done. So I don't even know what they finished. Probably like fucking seven for nine or something ridiculous like that. So great fucking win. Now, last video I talked about every other fucking team making moves. You know, the Lakers are trying to get Drummond. It seems like the Nets got Blake Griffin. It seems like they're still trying to make moves. Celtics are making moves. Jazz just got Ilya Silva, which I don't really think that means shit. I mean, they got another guy who can shoot, but they have a lot. So, I don't know. Like, is he even going to make the fucking lineup in the playoffs? Who knows? I guess it depends on how deep they make it. Um, well, The Sixers, like, every, it seems like every contender is making moves except for the Suns. Now, I don't know if it's just FOMO, but I do think it's kind of weird that this team doesn't seem to be in doesn't seem to be in any sort of trade talks or anything like that. Don't love it. But I mean, on the other hand, I do really like where this team is at, so I can't really complain. The only thing is I know they don't really have a lot of athleticism as far as besides Aiton. I think that's kind of the only problem. And then like especially if Payne stays consistent, that's really the only problem. Pain is a little streaky, so you might want to get another backup point guard, maybe somebody that's a little more consistent. I don't know. But really, I think those are the only flaws as far as this team. I mean, I like, I, <clears throat> like, I feel comfortable with the lineups we had. If those went into the playoffs, I wouldn't be scared at all. Doesn't really matter who the team is, you know. So I'm, I don't know. I'm not really mad at it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah. But I think that's it for today. Great fucking win. Late game execution. I'm telling you. I'm big on that. As you guys know, I always say it travels into the playoffs. So the fact that I really feel this team isn't really missing a whole lot. Um, and I think they're the only top 10 in offense and defense besides the Jazz, who I'm not afraid of. I actually think the Suns match up really well with the Jazz. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. So let me know what you guys think um, about trade and stuff like that. You know, we're coming up against the uh, trade deadline thing. we got, like, two weeks. So, yeah, let me know, let me know your guys' thoughts. I'll see you guys on Saturday after this 
easy ass win and uh yeah see you peace